Hello, intellectuals, and welcome to the station. If this is your first time visiting, I want to invite you to open up a copy of Blender. And if this is not your first time, then I just want to say welcome back. Let's dive into it. We have big news, y'all. Today kicks off Shark Week. Okay, now I wanted to do something special for Shark Week um, because I love Shark Week. Uh, one of my credos, uh, to quote the great Tracy Jordan, is that I live every week like it's shark week okay so i thought let's learn about the shark and the best way to learn about something is to make it okay so we're gonna make a great white shark all right let's have some fun i'm going to model a great white shark i invite you to model a great white shark but there's something about my great white shark that you should know and i'm modeling bob all right bob is a great white shark out of nova scotia way up here okay he's a northerner all right bob is a first round draft pick out of ironbound nova scotia 13 feet four inches weighs over 1300 pounds bob is a big boy he was last pinged a couple of days ago and we're very excited about that it was a z ping so there was no geolocation um but if this is new to you you should know that the good folks at O-Search are just shark researchers and they do awesome research um, with and on and for uh, sharks of all kinds. So what I would suggest is to pick your own shark. If you want to model Bob with me, you go right ahead. Okay, I'm going to model Bob. This is Bob. We're tight. If you want to find your own shark, do that. Here's a bunch of sharks over here. You can do, there's a whale shark named Allie. There's a white shark named Freya. Um, there's another white shark named Frosty, Breton, Cabot, and Bunny. Um, oh, Maple. Um, so I, I would suggest pick your own shark. Pick a shark and track it and follow the shark. You know, see, see what they're doing and where they're going and, uh, and, and how they live their life. But me, I'm following Bob, y'all. Okay? Bob just runs up and down the eastern seaboard. Okay? Territoriality all day. He's got good fish and food here and then he disappears and I don't know where he goes wherever the night calls him I guess either way are y'all ready to model Bob aces let's jump back into blender and the first thing we need to do is assassinate the default cube I'm gonna delete the camera as well just by hitting delete then we can delete this light okay so we just deleted everything we're gonna start with a clear screen I'm gonna come up here in the top right corner and turn my mouse into a crosshair and create uh, two views right here on the right side I'm gonna hit numpad 3 and go into side view and then I'm gonna put my mouse on the left side I'm hitting numpad 1 and go into front view okay so this is front view and this is side view and you can see the axes are delineated uh, by uh, color red for the x and green for the y okay hit shift a and then come here add a reference image now i'm going to go to where i have this on my machine i made a reference image for bob okay and you are more than welcome to use this reference image if you want to model a great white shark uh, it's going to cost you one interaction with this video. So with our reference image ready to roll, I want to see through this. So to do that, with our empty selected, I'm going to call this front view. And I'm going to call this collection right here reference images. Okay? Scene collection called reference images, and this is front view. Got it. Now uh, hit the data icon down here. And if you want to see through it, check opacity, okay? And you can bring it down a little bit. So here we go. We're, we're okay with this. Um, let me grab it on the x-axis and move it over, and we'll call this 50-50. We'll call this about halfway. All right, so now we have front view. Now I want to take this, and let's shift D to duplicate it. And then let's pirouette this son of a gun. We'll go uh, rotate on the z-axis 90 degrees. And now we have side view. I'm going to label this side view up here. So I'm going to select G to grab and bring this over here. So we're going to need to line that up. And we'll line up the image with the 3D cursor right here with this. You see this? 
Uh, this cursor right here, it looks like a crosshair inside of a lifeguard's, like a lifeguard float. Um, we're going to align, we'll make that the nose. That's the tip of the nose. Okay. So now we have, I'm going to, with shift middle mouse, I can pan like this. Um, so now we have a side profile of our great white right here in front view with the front view selected. I want to select this with G and bring it down on the Z and bring it down and call that the tip of the nose about, about there. So now I'm going to turn like this and you can see our model is going to be right here and it's really going to get uh, messy. So let's grab our reference image and move it back on the Y axis. And then let's grab our side view reference and move it back on the X axis. So when we start to model right here, our, our background image won't get in the way here. I want to, so you see how, when we turn around our reference image like this, you can see both sides. I don't want that. I want to always know when I'm looking at the front side, but right here, it says both change that to front. Okay. And then we select here. It says both change that to front. Now, when we turn around, you don't see it. So you'll always be able to keep the front side in front of you. Capiche? Okay. So now let's shift duplicate this and we'll call this rear view and we'll rotate on the Z axis at 180 degrees. That kind of pirouettes it. Um, now let's hit control one and that puts us in back view and with rear view this on the X to about here. And we'll call that close enough. Okay. So now we have a front view with numpad one, a rear view with control pad one, a side view with numpad three. And let's do it. Uh, and last let's do a top view. Okay. So with front view selected, we're going to shift D again, locked it in with enter. We're going to label it top view. And now we're going to rotate over the X axis. We'll call that negative 90. And if we hit numpad seven, yep, there we go. Now we can see that. Perfect. Rotate on the Z 180 flips it. There we go. Okay. And now let's grab this on the Y and bring it up right there. And then let's grab this right here like that. We'll call that a top view. So let's bring this down on the Z. Go on top. Perfect. And then I suppose if we wanted to, we could shift D grab this on the Z, flip it. So we just see the back like that. And then let's go control numpad seven. So this would be bottom view. So if we go top view like that, and then bottom view like that, I think we need to pirouette this. Oh, first let's call it bottom view. Okay, let me grab that like, like that. Okay, we got front view, numpad one, side view, numpad three, top view, numpad seven, bottom view, control numpad seven, and rear view, control numpad one. And that's how it's done, y'all. Okay, who's ready to model Bob, the great white shark? Before you continue, save your work. All right, with control S, everybody save your work. So let's add a cube. We'll turn it solid. And do we want to have this on? No, let's have this be a little transparent. Mm, let me bump the transparency down of these reference images. Okay. We'll bump this down as well. Okay. We'll make sure that we can, we can see, you want to be able to see our mesh over our reference image. And again, it doesn't need to look precisely like our reference image. That's, 
that's fine, right? That's that's no problem at all, truly, because, uh, well, we're going to take some liberties. All right, let me just turn that. I'm, I'm just turning the opacity down on all of our images just so we can see our geometry, our mesh on top of it. Okay. Now, with our cube selected, and I'm going to call the cube Bob. All right, that's Bob the shark. Let's go, let's scale this down with S to about, you know. And then let's grab it and move it back along the Y. Um, let's tab into edit mode. All right. And the first thing we want to do is control R and create a loop cut. Um, I'm going to escape out of that. You can also hit that over here. Um, you have the option to just push this button. Okay. Control R. Let's uh, create a loop cut. If you click and move away, you're going to get off the center line. That's fine. Just escape and it'll move it back to this center line, which is exactly what we want. Now I want to select everything over here, which is to say these two vertices, but because I'm in um, uh, x-ray mode, I select the back two as well. If I didn't, just to kind of show you, just these would be selected and the back would not be. Okay, so this is why x-ray mode means something. So we're going to select all of these vertices and I'm going to delete them, just the verts. And it's going to, uh, now I have half of a model, which is okay. Cause with my model selected, I want to create a modifier and let's mirror. It's the mirror modifier. So now anything I do on this side, like G to grab gets mirrored on the other side, but this crossover, you don't want, that's a big no, no. So we're going to escape out of that turn clipping on. Now, when I grab and move away, you can see I'm, I've clipped it to the middle of uh, the middle of our screen. Okay, nice. So everybody, save your work. Let's go numpad three, and this is called box modeling. You guys, this is this is basic beginner level uh, stuff. When you first start out with Blender, you're going to box model a lot. This is just kind of how you build shapes. Okay, so I'm going to hit extrude. And it just moves it right to the bottom of that lip right there. Okay. And then I'm going to hit another control R right there to create a loop cut. I don't know, probably here, right at the base of this fit. Well, first and foremost, let's introduce, let's introduce the great white. Now sharks in general are, you got eyes, nose, teeth, and then up here, and then everything else is fins. Everything is fin everywhere else and always, right? You got the pectoral fin right here. You got the dorsal fin right here. You got the caudal fin right here. The anal fin right here. They've got the pelvic fins right here. And these, uh, you know, down millions of years later, would evolve to our legs, um, just in terms of the evolution of vertebrate species. This here is also dorsal fin. So these two are dorsal fins, this tiny one. We got dorsal, dorsal, pectoral, pectoral pelvic and then on the other side is pelvic because well there's this there's a symmetry involved and then the tail fin is the caudal caudal that's a it's a hard word to say there's a lot going on in the back of your mouth when you say caudal it's really it's, it's act, back active it's back active um okay so those those are the parts of our fish now when you box model we just want to line this up to you know the the shape of our fish Okay, and I'll bring that down there and then bring this up here. Bring this like this, maybe that. Maybe like that. And then we just hit E again to extrude. And you can go back on the Y axis, scale it on the Y axis at zero. And that clears the rotation. Then we can scale this down like that. Grab it down on the Z like that. And then let's add a, a few more loop cuts here. Just to, you know, continue building on our shape. We can add another one right here. Then let's add another one right here like that. Maybe bring this down. Add another one right 
right here. We'll shrink this down by the, the rear dorsal fin. Like that. Bring that in like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. Now we're ready to build out that tail. Um, okay, let's add another loop cut uh, horizontally and we'll build out. Get this mouth going. Let's extrude again and scale this. Um, let's pull this up. Here, you know what? Let's select everything here. Let's add a subdivision surface modifier. Okay, let's get this tail going. Let's extrude that on the Y. Like that. I guess we could go one more. Cut here. Let's go like that. Maybe something like that. That, and then we could hit it with another one here. Scale that and move that up like that. And then let's get another one down here. We can extrude that with E. I'm just grabbing it and we'll we'll touch this up later. Right now we're just going for you know generic shape. We're just trying to make it close enough to our form that we can start building it out. So I'm gonna hit numpad seven and bring this up here. Okay, I'm also going to turn proportional editing tool on. Okay, and we'll go like that. Okay, and this is just, this is essentially color by number, right? And you grab these guys and you grab and you bring them out like that. Like that. And then now we bring them in like this. Let's go here and let's bring them down a little bit. Okay. All right, a little wide. We'll clean them up in a bit. Um, let's get a let's get a peck. Let's get a pectoral fin going. So with face selected, let's inset with I and bring that in just a scotch. Now you can see that does some wild stuff with the geometry. Um, that's because we got the subdiv surf on. So if I hit two to go select the edge select and then hit double G twice, I can bring this down. Now that looks wild in wireframe mode. So with solid selected, you can see I brought that down and this is still this is still a quad here right you got one two three four uh, to make this quad face um, and now if I wanted to I can E to extrude that okay and then from there we can extrude down Maybe 
scale these in here like that bring that down like that rotate them around a little bit and then maybe get another loop cut right there or something like that Okay, I'm going to add another loop cut here and another loop cut here and another loop cut here. So when we rig, there's a lot of geometry and this doesn't look um, stiff. Okay, you know what? Now, if you've made it this far, that means you have what it takes to make the dorsal fin by yourself. So without me, it's time for you to apply what you've learned okay so make the dorsal fin by yourself shape it out and build the dorsal fin without me okay pause the video make the dorsal fin and then come right back to the video okay and boom we could call it right here if you wanted to this is low poly modeling at its finest right this is just super easy simple quick basic and you could show the shape to anyone and say, what is this? And they would say, that's a shark. If, uh, you know what, you know what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna rig this son of a bitch. Um, let's go edit, preferences, add-ons. Find yourself Rigify, if you haven't already. It comes with Blender and check it. Make sure it's checked, check, check one, two, check one, two, check. Then we wanna save and load, and then we wanna save preferences, we wanna X out of that with Rigify up and running okay we're going to shift a we want to add an armature animals shark look at that they give us a shark okay it's right there i'm going to grab it on the y-axis i'm going to bring it over i'm going to scale it down a little bit bring it down just a scotch okay and then just uh just grab and align grab these two Grab these, move this back a little bit. Okay, and then let's grab this shoulder blade. Bring this out over here, like so. And down. In order to connect the mesh we need to apply our modifiers so let's come over here and click apply and apply okay now with our modifiers applied and our object selected let us shift click the armature and then hit Control p to parent with automatic weights okay now let's jump into pose mode and let's see let's see what happens if we try and wiggle the tail there you go. Okay. You see our tail's wiggling the whole shark. I'm going to escape out of that. Let's grab our dorsal fin. Okay. You see what's happened here? We rigged our dorsal fin. Excellent. And let's come up here and G to grab our head. Okay. Just like that. You modeled and rigged a great white shark. You guys save your work. Get up, get a bend, get a stretch. And tomorrow we are going to make this great white shark pretty tomorrow we're gonna make Bob sparkle but if you followed along you should have um, a low poly model of a great white shark that is attached to an armature and movable in pose mode right so if you want to wave goodbye you do something like this like okay see you later uh, hopefully you just saw how easy it was for yourself to open up blender and right out of the gate model a low poly great white shark and attach it to a rig that actually moves when you move the rig so if you can do that you can do literally anything at all right if you can do this you can learn to do whatever it is you need to do in the next few videos we're going to make bob the great white shark uh, look uh, glorious in high fashions um, we're going to jump into uh, texturing we'll get into lighting we'll uh, dive a little bit more into rigging 
Um, and then we'll animate this son of a gun and we'll put, uh, we'll put Bob on the big screen. So I hope that was fun for you. If you have any questions, comments, or requests for clarification about anything at all, um, put a note in the comments or send me an email. And until next time, don't forget to live every week like it's Shark Week.